What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ukulai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. By the time you're watching this, you may have already noticed that there is a brand new patch live for Black Ops 3 and with that, there is some stuff that you may not know, but there's actually not as much as you may think. This one was a relatively smaller patch, right around the 1.6 gigabyte size file, I believe. I could be slightly wrong on that, but it's nothing more than 2 gigabytes here. So a lot of people are saying that this is going to include also a lot of secret stuff with a lot of brand new weapons. Weapons. And while that is possible that we are going to be getting brand new weapons sometime soon here I don't think it's part of this patch It's way too small of a patch to see all these added exploit fixes and all that kind of stuff That we're gonna be talking about here in this one added in as well as with complete brand new assets for the game The playable aspects of the game so that is where we're at right now at this one But I want to talk briefly a little bit on what we can see here within this once again A lot of this was exploit fixes and some of those dealing with zombies some of those dealing with the brand new maps Regardless, they're all good stuff. One of the ones I'm more specifically excited for is a lot of the death barrier glitches that were removed on Zetsubo no Shima. So first and foremost, let's start this off by saying there are brand new music tracks. Yeah, if you go into the menu here, if you guys remember, there was a locked icon on the music tracks option. That's finally unlocked. There is now actually a way to cycle through all the music. What you can do with this is you can choose which music plays in the multiplayer front end, that being the main menu of it, or you can select to have no music at all. Basically, all of these songs within Black Ops 3's files are available right there up for your choosing. So it's a very cool feature and something that I'm very excited to see finally come here because this is now six months into the game. It's finally here after all this waiting. It's nice to see this feature finally implemented. So next, we're going to move on. The 100% or challenge was actually updated as well. The calling card art was updated and moved actually from the challenge from the Dark Ops menu to the main screen to reflect as a challenge master reward. Now, truthfully, that's like the only two big things here out of this that really are the big takeaways other than exploit things. Other than that though, there are other minor patches to things like the Nomad whose rejack ability would not have smoke if there was a power core system enacted. So also talking about the power core real quickly as well, there was a little bug where it wouldn't destroy a hater if it was up, but that actually does do that now. So other things just like map specific things, there are bug exploits and all that kind of stuff, barriers that are fixed where you can't get out of the map anymore and once again the big thing for me that I think that I love the most was that in Zetsubo no Shima there are several issues addressed here those being the spider pathing as well as various death barriers around the level you guys may or may not have seen a video I posted on Twitter if you follow me over there then you may have but if not make sure you follow me on Twitter firstly uh, I'll put it up on screen right now here for you So basically, I jumped down to get the Skull of Nan Sapwe and just died. Also, again, with the Skull of Nan Sapwe, that actually was a little bit balanced here, where the weapon depletion and recharge rates were adjusted slightly. So other than that, though, there's really not too much, but some cool stuff nonetheless here within this, if you guys are really intrigued as well in the exploit fixing, but also the fact that there's music tracks. That's the big thing here out of this. But that's what we're going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll leave the link down there in the description below to the full patch notes here for you guys. It's going to be coming to Xbox One and PC relatively shortly, I can imagine. And once again, I'm not entirely sure if we'll be getting some brand new weapons out of this next week sometime. This patch seems a little bit too small. Usually they're right around the 7 to 8 gigabyte patch file size if there is something other than that hidden in there. But that's going to wrap it up. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy. I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you think is the most important thing fixed here out of this, if anything at all? Love to hear your thoughts. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 30,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help. And as always, greatly appreciate it. But my name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.